favorite yoga pose is probably tree pose because it allows me to balance, to really balance. And the slightest fluctuation in my environment will tip me over. So it allows me to really notice that. My name is Danny Pinedo, and my major is Traditional Eastern Arts Concentration Yoga Teacher Training. In the yoga program and in the other classes I've taken here, there is a lot of reading and a lot of writing. And I do pride myself in being a bit of a bookworm. The book is Franz Kafka, The Complete Short Stories. And they're both morose and drug-addled, interesting, very stream of consciousness types of writings. The Metamorphosis is one of the stories that's in there, amongst others. And it just, it represents where I have come from. My background is in philosophy and linguistics. I always give books away. And that one I'm not willing to part with. When I was deciding to come to Naropa, I was in the middle of a sort of existential situation. And that book was right on the forefront. I had that book to my left, my typewriter in front of me. and. I was in the process of deciding what to do with myself. So that book is sort of my existential monitor, if you will. My first impression of Naropa was Boulder. And in the fall, it's just so windy and beautiful. And I, I'm from Los Angeles, and I'm not used to at all the climate here. It was amazing. And then when I came on the green in the central courtyard, there were students hanging out on the grass. One was standing on his head. So my impression was, wow, this place is interesting. In our world today, we're, of course, always coaxed or asked to be ourselves in a very individualistic manner. But here at Naropa, you're asked to really delve deep inside yourself while at the same time holding all that space for everyone around you. So it's, it's sort of like daring to be yourself in relationship with the world. I'll be teaching yoga while I'm pursuing my graduate degrees in um, clinical psychology. Bringing yoga into the world invites people to their own experience as a human being. This general direction in which I'm headed, and that is working with others, specifically people in poverty-ridden neighborhoods where they don't have very many options to maybe use my training to help others gain mindfulness or a sense of their own body because the body holds a lot of trauma and the more resilient the body is, the more resilient the person is. In this world that we live in now, it's more necessary than ever to, to do that ourselves and to show others that it's possible. You don't need necessarily a $100 yoga mat to practice yoga, you just need a little patch of grass and some sunshine. When I go out to the world now, I can handle whatever comes up. And it's a gift that I couldn't have gotten anywhere else. I would just both invite and challenge everyone to come sit in this room. <laughs>